Hi there. Today's video is on a 100% plant-based ranch dressing that also happens to be raw. Now technically if you wanted to put a label on it, we'd call it a raw vegan ranch dressing. But I truly believe that there's meat eaters out there, fish eaters out there, who enjoy eating fruits and vegetables just as much as vegans and raw vegans. So this video is for everybody who just wants to eat healthy and put clean food into their bodies. After we make the ranch dressing, I've got a second dressing for you. It's a blueberry watermelon dressing, but it's got a bit of a twist. Some really unique combinations of ingredients that works out really well, which is why I wanted to share it with you as kind of a bonus dressing to this raw ranch. So let's get started. So we're going to start with making the base of the dressing, which is cauliflower. Go ahead and chop up one cup of cauliflower. Totally good if it's a heaping cup. Exact measurements aren't really needed. Next, you're gonna need a cucumber and a zucchini. I've got the tops cut off already, and what we're gonna need here is one half cup of zucchini and one half cup of cucumber. Now we're gonna double peel these guys. So what I mean by double peeling is, once we get the skin off, then we're gonna go around it again with our peeler and take the second layer of flesh off. Now, if you really don't mind green raw ranch, then go ahead and keep the skins on or just do a single peel. But what I'm trying to do here is keep the ranch color as white as possible so that it looks more like a traditional ranch. All right, I've got my cucumber all peeled the first time around and now I'm gonna go around again and take off that second layer. You wanna do the exact same thing for the zucchini. See that green? Now we'll just do a second peel around and that'll help reduce that green color even more. Now there might be still a little bit of a green tinge to the raw ranch dressing, but it's all good. Go ahead and chop it up, put it in your half cup measurement, and then put it into your blender cup. And half a cup of double peeled cucumber. Add one teaspoon of sea salt, one teaspoon of organic garlic powder or granules, and you can use fresh garlic in this. I did it both ways with the fresh garlic and the fresh onion that we're about to add and also with the powder. Personally, I think the powder for some reason just has a little bit better flavor to this recipe anyway. Then one quarter teaspoon of the onion powder. Next, we're gonna add one and a half teaspoons of lime juice. You can use lemon juice as well. Now I don't have a little lemon or lime press, so what I do just to get the measurements right is I'm gonna press this juice into the glass bowl and then I'm gonna measure it out with my little measuring spoon. I squeezed about two wedges of lime and I do have a little bit of juice left over. And the reason why I'm not saying just go ahead and just put the juice of two lime wedges in there because you can go over lemon or over lime with this recipe. I have found um, in just my experimentation of it, I did go overboard with lemon and it was too much. So that's why I came to the conclusion of one and a half teaspoons, but of course you can do whatever your heart desires. Next, we're gonna just do two tablespoons of water. The final ingredient to this ranch dressing is the dill weed here. Now I'm gonna use dry because my dill is not yet in season, but if you're watching this video at a time where your garden dill is ready to go, go ahead and use that. But we're not gonna add it until after the base of the ranch is already blended, which is our next step. We're gonna blend it on high, and it might take a little bit of working to get the ingredients going in the blender, but stick with it, it'll all blend really well. So now it's blended to a nice silky texture. We're going to add one rounded teaspoon of dill. We're not going to run this on high again because what we don't want is the dill to actually get blended into the ranch. Then it's just green looking mush. So we've got the dill in and what we're going to do is just give it one or two quick pulses just to incorporate and mix the dill in but not blend it in. That's it. <laughs> That's good. Okay, I have to admit, I like things on the salty side. And after tasting this dressing, it is on the strong salt flavor side. 
I'm gonna reel back my saying one teaspoon of fine sea salt and instead I'm gonna say one half to three quarters teaspoon of sea salt. And of course, start on the low side if you're sensitive to salt and work your way up to a flavor palette that you really like. I like salty, so this is good for me. This oil and nut-free raw ranch of course goes well on top of a fresh salad. Here are some other ideas. Use it on top of a bowl of steamed veggies. It goes well with winter squash and even mashed potatoes. The dill and the lime make it pair nicely with salmon and is a flavorful option if you're seeking low-fat dressing alternatives. All right, so I've got the ranch stuff out of the way and I've brought in the ingredients that we're gonna need for our blueberry watermelon dressing. And I also realized that working with blueberries and a white t-shirt is a bad combination. So I put on an apron here because I don't really trust myself to not make a mess. All right, so the two ingredients that you may not think would go well with a watermelon and blueberry dressing is ginger and cilantro. Now, if you're not a fan of either ginger or cilantro, then this dressing's not for you, and I completely understand if you're gonna exit out. But if you do like ginger and cilantro, stick around for this recipe because I think you're gonna like it. To get started, we need one half cup of blueberries. Now I'm filming this in a season that is not blueberry friendly, so these are frozen. Go ahead and add it to your blender cup. And then next you're going to need one half cup of watermelon. Now you might be thinking it's a season essentially where watermelon isn't typically in season. Well that's true if you grow it in your garden. However, I got this guy at Walmart. True story, I bought watermelons all winter long, November, December, January, February, so Walmart. As you can see, that is a heaping cup of watermelon. That's okay. You don't want to add any more than that because it'll make the dressing too runny. But it's not the end of the world if it does come out a bit runny. Then to help sweeten the dressing up, you're gonna need eight pitted dates. Next, we're gonna need two and a half teaspoons of lime juice. And what I'm gonna do, just like I did for the ranch dressing, is I'm going to squeeze the limes into a bowl so that I can measure out accurately two and a half teaspoons. Two teaspoons, half a teaspoon, two and a half. I got my grater out because we're gonna grate the ginger before we put it into the blender cup. We're gonna need two and a half to three teaspoons. Ginger is one of those spices that can be overpowering and it does carry a little bit of heat. For me, I cannot do chili peppers for anything, but I can do ginger. It's not the same kind of heat. I put in two and a half to three teaspoons. If you want to just dial it back a little bit because you're not sure how you feel about a strong ginger flavor, go ahead and just put in one and a half, one and three quarters, or even two teaspoons and build your way up for there. This is the amount that I felt really worked well. We're gonna blend it up before we add the cilantro. And just like the dill in the raw ranch, we don't wanna necessarily blend it into the dressing as we just wanna do a light pulse to incorporate it in. Besides, if you blend green into this beautiful dressing, it's gonna turn it a muddy brown instead of the beautiful and vibrant bluish purple that this dressing is going to be. Now add about one tablespoon of your fresh cilantro. Chop it up a bit so that it pulses better into the dressing without having to do an actual deep blend, you know? Put the lid back on and we're just gonna do a quick pulse. All right, moment of truth. That's good, you guys. Now the ginger is a bit intense when it's fresh grated like this, but I really like intense. I like intense flavors. Even though I really like this dressing as it is, I'm such a huge cilantro fan. I'm gonna go ahead and just add this remaining cilantro in. Now I realize I'm coloring outside of the lines here, but that's what cooking's all about. Have some fun, be creative, add a little more, add a little less, it's all good. Mm -hmm. I like that cilantro flavor. All right, let's get this on some food so that you can be inspired and maybe this is your dressing for tonight. The sweet and savory flavor combination of this dressing goes great, of course, on a salad. 
Adding it on top of rice is also scrumptious, and if you're a raw vegan, put it over raw black rice. So if you want more info on that, click on the link in the corner. And this sauce happens to also go particularly well with white fish. Again, a great alternative to high fat dressings. If you've got leftovers, put them into a mason jar and I'll keep in the fridge for about a week. I've got an entire playlist on my channel right here of other plant-based recipes. And my recipes are there for anybody who wants to incorporate more healthy food into their diet. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button, then ding the bell that's located next to that button so that you're notified each time I upload a new video. I'll see you next time. Bye!